Good morning, Pete, and welcome to Bumper to Bumper. How are you going? Very good, Rusty. Now, we're here at Seatbelt King. You've got a customer CV8 Monaro 2001 that's having uh, the seatbelts replaced. Why is that? Well, a uh, number of reasons. The car's 16 years old, so just the sun damage over time um, had a little bit of effect on it, but just wear and tear. If it's a daily driver, it, 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 usually using the seatbelt two or three times a day. Yep. So you uh, imagine that over a period, six and year period, it starts to get a bit frayed. So we've actually got the driver's seatbelt out at the moment so we can take a quick look at it. All right. Well, from looking at it, what uh, are some of the uh, wear and tear factors on the car? Well, um, there's a bit of um, uh, exposure to the sun, so it, it's faded a bit. Uh, if you have a look down here, you can see it's burring on the side and, and there's a little nick down here as well. So they, they say um, it'll reduce the usability of the seatbelt by 30% with a nick, doesn't matter how big. Right, so obviously stretch marks are saying there's obviously tension on the uh, yeah. seatbelt <laughs> yeah. that actually then depreciates the actual... Um... It does, because it's really only made for one good accident. So oh. if, if you keep on giving it heaps of our little ones, it, it'll degrade significantly. Now, with this, I also find that the, this seatbelt doesn't retract as well, as good as it should as well. Is that because of the, the tear or...? Well, what happens, a lot of people don't realise... Um, like when you go to, um, to the toilet or, or when you um, prepare food, you wash your hands. But a lot of people get in their car with uh, makeup on, grease, things like that, and they grab their seatbelt. Yeah. And what happens is that there's uh, matter transferring to the seatbelt all the time. And over a period of time, uh, it'll get in the, impregnate itself on the seatbelt and it'll, it'll, it won't be as supple. Yes. So um, and when, when it goes back into the retractor, it'll be slow because it's, it's forcing its way in. So, yeah, some of them I see are as hard as concrete. <laughs> to do, fair dinkum. Yeah, th th that's how they are because you know, truck drivers, um, tow truck drivers, that sort of thing, they've always got greasy hands, they get in and grab the seatbelt. That's yeah. what happens. All right, so obviously then if uh, there's wear and tear on the seatbelt, we want to replace them because obviously uh, we're talking about people's safety in cars. That's correct. And uh, what we're going to do today, we're going to get a, um, a piece of Australian standard seatbelt webbing and replace it with this one and it's going to be the same colour as the G colour of the car. So All right, because you provide a range of different colours here at Seatbelt King. That's correct. We do uh, um, a lot of um, uh, changeover seatbelts for colour to, to, to match interiors. Yes. Custom hot rods, that sort of thing. You've, you've done some segments in the past. Yes. And we've got over 20 different colours, all Australian standards. Ah, fantastic. Well, it's going to actually bring a bit of uh, bling to the uh, CV8 Monaro, I say. It will. It will. Hopefully it'll increase the value and safety. <laughs> Terrific. Well, um, Pete, thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Bumper to bumper, we love them old cars.